Today. I'm great, love. Thanks for asking. I am wonderful. I'm off today until later tonight. We are jam packed tonight. I had to film tonight. So I'm hoping everything goes right tonight. Or other people fall. I'm just going to do what I do. But it feels good to be off. It's nice and sunny out here. It's about 78, 70-something. 70 so I'm going to hit the beach for a moment. I need to go that way anyway. So I'm going to hit up my homegirl, see what she about. And see if she wanted to go roll real quick. And then... Swing by the beach because she not fall off. And we can go get some ice or something, honey. Hey, Patty J. Smoke some blunts, of course. Oh, I do need to go to Target. I have to go to Target. So I guess I'm going to be on top of the game in a minute, J. My daddy gives me the pink stuff. Oh, Jason, I love you too. I'm going to pick up. You know what? It is this one place that I've wondered if it's still on Venice. They do, uh, well, I know before they used to let you sample some. I don't know if they still do that, though. But the weed down there is strong. Oh, my God. They'll be this strong. I think I tried three different little samples or something. I was fucked up. Bitch, I quit. I'm done. <clears throat> Let me fuck up this popcorn, these goddamn pretzel sticks. And I'm cool as fuck. It's your birthday. Oh, hey, happy birthday, Jill. That ass getting old, Jill. I don't know how old you are, Jib, but your ass is growing up, Jib. Start cutting out more bullshit, Jib. Come to Cali to buy some weed, baby. California knows how to party. Oh, and dap on that ass. And it's such a beautiful day. And today I really get to nair because I didn't nair the other day. I'm cutting this shit off my head. Oh my God, I can't wait for that part. And I'm ta taking them clippers and whatever little peach fuzz straight hairs I have. I'm going to shave those low and nair it down. Because the weather is lovely. And I may even go get me a fucking pedicure. Want me? This is gonna touch on them, huh? This is gonna do something. They all right. But she really could hit them baby toes, though. No lie. She could get on the baby toes. Cause them little motherfuckers. I think I need to get on the baby toes myself. Because they not hit, they not getting on that toe like I want them to. I need to get my own little fowler and I need to ch -ch 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 and foul that little nail down. It's all right. Foul that bitch down. Who is this fucking up my insides? Oh, thank you, hon. I'll talk to you later because if I reply back right now, you're going to get your life. 
and then we're gonna be in a whole nother situation. I'm trying to get my gel. Oh, no color. I don't do I don't do color on my toenails or my fingernails and none of that. I'm very that 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 that's not my that's not my gel. That's not my gel. I don't do color nails, color toenails. I tried that twice. And never again. And then both was years ago. I do not do, I cannot do color on my toes. I only have a part-time job. Maybe I'll just buy a pack. Not on my hand. I don't like it on my nails. On my fake nails. I just don't. Just give me some regular nails right out the little pack. And I can put those things on. And pop them right back off. I, I don't do color. I, I, that ain't my teeth. I'm doing good, love. How are you? Yeah, I have to accept the fact that I, I'm a mean queen because, or the mean queen, because, hell, people call me it all the time. Baby, this is Jasmine Masters. You know the one for RuPaul Drag Race, and they do the mean, oh, the mean queen. Oh, what? Is that what y'all calling me now? Like, for real, for real? Look at this shit. What the fuck? Let me reroute you. How the fuck did that car get into that area in Santa Ana? I'm sorry, what happened? <clears throat> hey, Jen. Ha <laughs> ha, I meant for your Discord. I have to do purple pillow, blood. Yeah, just wait until I finish it. It's not finished. But thank you. The color's going to be beautiful. I just ain't went down and did what I was supposed to do yet. <clears throat> I'm good with this, sweet. Oh, thank you, baby. Chickie done needs teasing. Baby, what the fuck? The tea what happened in Hawaii yesterday. What do you think about this? Oh, girl. <laughs> I woke up to that this morning. I'm like, I don't know who set that alarm off. But. They asses is in some shit. I think if they are able to get out of Hawaii, because they have set the whole, they set the whole damn place, and everybody had heart attacks. You can look at people seeing them running, having heart attacks. They scared. They poor babies. Poor babies. We don't know what happened, but I'm just glad that it's not real. You know what I mean? Because I do have a lot of friends over there. And I know a lot of people who have family over there. And I just can't go through, I just can't be, I just can't handle that type of stuff no more right now. I need a moment to smile without depth and bald. And meaning, Smiling, but I'm still dealing with death. Not smiling because somebody had passed away or nothing like that. But I just, I just, I just can't. I just can't be bothered with that right now. Then on Southwest, I know you're at baby Southwest hitting it.
You know what? People talk stupid. Tony Jazz. <clears throat> I'm home, Jeff. I can't even do the brunch, Jeff. And there ain't no shame. Shit. Some people are wonder why I ain't there now. It was just, it was just too, it's too many girls for me to do a brunch. And I'm in the business of making money. And this ain't no show. And this ain't no benefit show. This is a brunch. And my Sundays cannot take no more hard hits like it did the last two, three, two, two, three months ago. No. Uh-uh. But if I had known from Jump Street, it was going to be about eight, nine girls for a brunch show. I would have been said no ma'am. And it's the first one, so it's gotta be big. Well, let me come when it's regular. What am I doing today? I think I'm around by Venice Beach, because I have to be by there. Um and really nothing, Jill. I was thinking about going to Olive Garden. But that would have to be a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Well, no, not really. Let me see, 11. Let me see, 10. 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You want to go eat, Jim? <clears throat> We can go eat around maybe three-ish. Somewhere up in these numbers up here. <laughs> Somewhere up. No, ma'am. Christmas is over, baby, and you are not about to put me back in there. It's just in DC. Me too, Jeff. This is not gonna be pretty for you. I feel awful for this. For me? You are a lonely attack. I wanna come to DC too, Jeff. I pull you out of bookkeeping and make you the CFO. You you had no experience. And then I wanna just wake up. Like, I want to go to D.C., I want to go, you know, Baltimore, I want to go to Jersey. But when I get to Baltimore, good morning, Baltimore, is what I want to do so bad. I don't care where I'm at, what hotel, wherever I wake up in Baltimore, is what I... I want to open up my window, the curtains. I want to open up that window and just holler and sing it out. I sure do. I like that song and I like the other song they sang. But that's always been a dream of mine since I seen Hairspray, the new version with John Tavolta. Cause I didn't watch the old one and everybody started singing them songs and I just want to say good morning Baltimore that was my soprano <clears throat> so
Where are y'all from? From Florida, Milton. Oh, you live in Reno. No, ma'am. No. Baby, let me tell you something. I'm going to take two steps back for you real quick. You must be very young. And I understand you're young. You're just not getting on here, so you don't know no better. But I don't hate no one. I didn't hate my sister then, and I don't hate her now. And you know we don't hate each other because they're always giving me some type of thanks or something all on their social media. So don't come over here with no bullshit. That's the shit I be talking about. Life too short. Ain't nobody here to be doing no bullshit. If you want to do some bullshit, go play with your little friends and y'all bullshit on some shit. Don't come over here bullshit with me over no drag bullshit. That's bullshit. You talking about something four years ago. You need to get your life in order. And grow up at some point because you're gonna have to. Now have your ass on here and have some fun, but don't come on my page with no dumb ass bullshit. I'm trying to get fucking high and enjoy my motherfucking Sunday while I have time to fucking all. Not worried about no bullshit. What the fuck? You a damn internet troll. You know what the fuck goes on. You know more than I fucking know. Yeah, I have tried edibles, babe. But you know what? They just, look. This edible has been sitting here since New Year's. Do you hear me? Since New Year's. And I still have not eaten that edible. Because I don't I don't like the the uh the take it gives me. Like it just clicks in all of a sudden. You just like, oh shit. And you waiting and you waiting and then you thinking like, when is it? I just, I don't know. But that's been sitting there since New Year's. It's still nice and sealed though. You can't smell it. They sealed that bitch to perfection. So, it ain't no tell if I'm gonna ever eat that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, oh, oh! I just had to go up and block whoever I was just talking to about the tricky situation. Dumbass fucker! Did my phone crack like that? That was on that second fall. I wonder if I put some. I better leave it alone. I cracked my fucking phone. Thank God I got insurance. No, I'm not mad at you. I just think you need to have your own profile or quit having other people's profile. I just think that's kind of disrespecting to yourself, if you ask me. You know, 
I didn't think we were going to be talking about nothing like this. But honestly, you know how there's some people who just wants to be somebody else? That has never been my story. I don't think there was a time that I ever said that I wanted to be or I wish I was somebody. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I ain't never thought of, I ain't never thought of like that just. And I remember in school we had talked about that. My teacher had, we had like an assignment or something. And I was very, I don't want to be nobody else. I want to be me. But you had, it's, it's the assignment was like for a day or for, I wouldn't want to be nobody for a day. I want to be the fuck me. Because it's easier. She <laughs> It's easier for me to be me. I don't want to. No, I just want to be me. Mm mm. And it turned out that I was one of the one of the good ones. Cause I made sure I don't want to be nobody. And it wasn't that we had to pick. It was. Who would you want to be for some, like, name somebody you'd want to be for a day? And I was like, nobody. And she's like, not even for a day. Not even for a day. I don't think I want to be nobody for nothing. Just give me one day. No, I ain't giving you shit. You know why? Because that one day, now I'm thinking this, that one day you somebody could be the day that person died. And bitch, guess what? You them for that, so bitch, you gone, just. Now that I think about it that way, but I just never thought of anybody I want to be for a day. Be who? For, for what? Like, I want to be there for I'm me. I just, you know, so when I, I see people making all these fake accounts or people looking like other, like, drag queens, I'm just like, like, you really feel somewhere in yourself that you want to be this person. It's a different thing between mimicking, copying, and stalking. Oh, I got to keep that like that so I can see. <clears throat> no, I don't watch the Big Brother UK, Jeff. I have never watched it. It's that Garcia Vega, baby. It should be, it should, uh, raw for a minute. Well, then you should put fan on there and don't put her name. Because people automatically think you hurt. You say I do it all the time, but then you got the same picture she has. That's why I'm just like, just... You could be a fan. I'm a big Patty LaBelle fan. But I don't have... My profile is not Patty LaBelle. I'm a big fan of her. And hey, I'm pretty sure she did way more for me than Naomi to done for you to be for you to be so locked up and hooked up on her like that to where you got to have a name in her picture like that. So people be thinking you keep... You get a kick out of it, and I mean, if it's good for you, but see, that's not good to do that. Why are you messing with people' emotions? You should have more self love for yourself to not want to mess with somebody' emotions, though. That's kind of fucked up. Why would you do that to someone? It's like you don't have to do that. That's just killing somebody else's dream or, 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 you know, emotions by you doing that. So when they finally see her, she do 
puts stuff on their stuff, they're not going to believe it. And if they do believe it, they're going to be like, oh, because the enjoyment of it was already gone because an imposter. That's why I love my girl Patricia Louise Hope, Patty LaBelle so much. And that's why I always say I just want somebody to feel what I felt when I first went to her concert, when I first met her, all of that. Because I can't describe it. You just have to do it. And if I can make a person feel like that, then good. But I don't want nobody... Baby... I never said that she was a problem. I'm just saying, why do you and why do other people do it? So I honestly don't give a fuck, personally. I'm just speaking on why do you do it. I mean, I think it's fucked up. It's like you catfishing people. It's very fucked up that you're doing that and you're getting a kick out of it. It's like, come on. And the thing of it is you're going live on people's stuff. That's what you're doing. Now, you had a page and you just posted her pictures on there, but you're going live, you have a conversation with people. And then you laugh. Then you laugh. Ha, ha, ha. I'm not her. See, that's fucked up. And that's the nice way of me trying to tell you. But you ask me, I think you look psychotic. But <laughs> I'm just saying. Because <laughs> that's kind of cool. <clears throat> Baby. Now wrap too tight. And you probably one of the ones who have another page on there of me doing some crazy shit. That's why I go live on mine enough so people can know this is thine fucking page. Y'all need to take this show off the air. Mona Scott could cancel this one and put me right on. I guarantee you we have more ratings than this shit. And it'll be way more entertaining. It's just not going to get entertaining because they... Start showing the cheating and the shit. But I don't know if I'm gonna watch it though. I don't have a favorite meme of me, no. Don't change it because of me. And that's, baby, that's something just close. I ain't told you how I thought and what I think about the situation. I think people like that are trying to psychotic, a little cuckoo. That just no single gay scariest to me. <laughs> yeah, that's giving our little Cynthia Lee Fontaine cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. That's cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. But get your life. You gotta get your life some type of way. Ain't no better way to make other people feel like shit and put a smile on your face, right? So, keep doing what you're doing. No, I'm a Libra, G. Straight up, I need some something on my lips. Oh, I got to grab my car next. Please hold on. Because these lips are not giving me what I need. Judge, I fly to L.A., can you buy me a burger or something? Can you buy me a burger? Yep. Right in West Hollywood, it's this burger place called Hamburger Heaven or Heaven or something. I don't think it's Heaven. I think it is Heaven. I don't know, something. 
We can go right there. It's on the corner of Santa Monica and Robertson. The Abbey is right across the street. Wonderful burger, nice fries, very clean, been there for years. And the Starbucks is right across the street, so we can work it out. When you fly into the LA. Because I ain't turning down no free food. And it's in the daytime. Everybody out. It can't be nothing look. No, baby, we bright. Everybody's out. Sure would. And I'm not far either. Yeah, let's go eat a burger. I shall thank you. Sure would. We can go ahead to that busy aisle. <laughs> you know, that wasn't one of my favorite songs. I didn't know Michael McDonald part until. When did I end up learning his part? I was, it was way after the song was over. But all I wanted to listen to was Patti LaBelle part, and I remember taking the tape recorders and facing them this way to face each other, and I pressed play on one, record on the other, and I just had her part on tape. And I never even knew his part. But I love that song now. Oh my own, this wasn't how we were supposed to win. I would love to come to Tim Walk and try to weed. I want to try to weed everywhere. I honestly do. See what's the difference, what's doing what. Okay, this is Alabama. Then it's on low low. You know, I would love to. And it's a new year too, so it's a, you know, some shit could get in motion a lot, you know. Start planning ahead. But I would love to come smoke some weed in Denmark. Well, I really want to smoke some weed. It's with Snoop Dogg. And I just want to walk. All over the place. I'm going to smoke with him one day. That's all I want to do is smoke with Uncle Snoop. And that's what you say, baby. Too low, that Jeep going crazy. Big <laughs> what? <sighs> yep. Damn, I, I need to get that. I need to play that. That would be a good Sunday starter. That first Snoop Dogg album. What was it? Dog house, dog pound. What's my motherfucking name? Snoop Dogg. I want to throw my fingers up. And I don't know what I'm throwing up, but I ain't going to throw up those. But I can not have walk, though. Sea walk. Hop, hop, pop, pop. Spell it out. Hop, pop, pop, pop. Period. I know how to do all that. But I don't know how to be tossing fingers. I don't be tossing fingers, you know, giving single signals and area codes and all that. I don't do all that part. I just be rolling like this and do a couple of L's love you, honey. Hearts. With all that, you know. I do not put up West Coast, though. You know. Because I am from the West Coast. So that, that ain't nothing bad, people. On West Coast. So I'm, I'm covered across the board. No game, just I'm on the West Coast. I better sit this here because I feel like this bitch may try to give me too much. From Germany. All right, from Germany.
Oh, I was going to move to Germany for like three months. I mean, for like three years, two years. And I'm glad I didn't jab because I would have had a heart attack. Ain't no telling. Your life is the best part of my day. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Yeah, I played football, baseball, tennis ball, jump, double dutch. When I was a kid, and then when I was in school, I had to try out for track. I had to try out for basketball. And hell, even football. <coughs> I made the uh, the tryouts, but I didn't want to do sports. Like, I don't want to do it. And it was like part of PE, so we had to do the shit. So I was like, I ain't about to get a low grade. Fuck that. I'm like, fuck. Tearing them balls up, throwing all that. It was fun to me. They was like, wow, you will really be great on the team. Like, I don't want to play sports. Uh-uh. I don't want to play basketball. I don't want to play damn baseball. And I don't want to run no motherfucking track. Because the first time I fall on that fucking dirt, I'm going to be pissed. No, ma'am. I'm not jumping no fucking hurdles and all that shit. I don't want to play baseball. Because if that ball hit me in the face, no, man, I do that for fun. I like to play, but I don't want to be on the team. That's every Saturday for sure. We have to be together. No, ma'am. I don't want to do that. We really need we really need some team players. And did it today. No, I don't want to do it. I'm busy on Saturdays, boo. Shit, that is so trained, and I do not want to be bothered. Yeah, baby, you know, hopefully I can make it out there this year, just. It, but I will come out there. I would definitely come to Ireland if they ask me. Pack a bag and go. And it looks so beautiful over there, too. Some, <laughs> some of the places that I've seen are like, you know, the computer. But they could be fake pictures, I don't know. But I want to go. Sure would. Baby, that's a free trip, honey. I will go everywhere they ask me. I don't know about, uh, I don't know about China. I, I never had a, a desire to go to China and 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 um, all them places. I never had that desire to go. So I don't, I don't, I don't think I go over there though. I just never had that, you know. Mm -hmm. I used to watch that show, Snoop Dogg Show on MTV. It's cold as shit, baby. I'm trying to hit everywhere when the sun is out. Where we wearing flip flops, shorts, t-shirts. I don't want to do nothing where it's like zero below 24. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that type of weather no more. I did enough of that in December. Do you understand me? And I don't want to do no more of that type of cold weather with snow, with freeze. No, I don't want to do nothing that is that cold for a long time. And I mean that from the bottom of thine heart and foot. Yes, but, but 
Mm -mm. I can pass on that weather. That's some cold ass disrespectful shit. And my body did not appreciate that much cold during that month. My insides knew something was wrong. So, I'm cool, dude. You know, little rain, okay, we could do some rain, but if you're going to be flooding everywhere, I can't do that either. I need everybody to be able to ride bikes and scooter boards. I just can't do bad weather nowhere. I just can't be bothered with it nowhere. Mm-mm. 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 And I'm praying on rain. But I just... No, baby. No, 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 no. Is he Kevin Hart? So, oh, he, in, he doing his stand-up? It's like I have glue right here. Mm. I had to glue my wig down. Down right to the boy, bad weather. Baby, yeah. <coughs> uh uh. I need to go to somebody's house that lives in a good... When I tell you I want them to go in there and I want to have the smell of seasoning so motherfucking good and strong until you think she in her cooking. I need somebody who could just make some I know the perfect person who can make some dressing. I will. I need a good old. I have not had that meal yet. Came close to it in, uh, in Orlando. It was it was there, but I want a home cooked, just disrespectful. Bitch, you gonna have? Look at all that food and all them calories and all that butter and all that. I haven't found that yet. I got very close to it when I was in Orlando at my uh, friend Giselle house. But I'm waiting for that day. I am waiting for that day where I could sit down and just see this whole feast and everything is just on point. And I know they didn't make the potato salad and the macaroni salad out of their sink. Hey, you about to leave? All right. Okay, I'm about to move now. Some of y'all may leave, but I need to go move my car. So you're welcome to stay on here. If I could do y'all a favor, better yet.
Damn. Oh, I can play a video for y'all to hear, okay? I know I said I was going to talk about my Dora the Explorer and me and this lady getting into it. I had to get her and her tracky friend together. I can't yeah, track, put it out. Tracky, her attention. friend had this weave and you had, she had about four strands covering the track. And all you seen was track. So I called her tracky. But I'm going to do that on something different. <clears throat> You know, when we are out of drag, are we not, if we go to one of our bars and, you know, we just go to hang out, it's so sad that the employees don't know who we are or they don't know who we are or they don't want to acknowledge us when we're not in drag. They treat us like we anybody. I stayed at the bar for 15 minutes after I paid to get in the bar. I paid, um, I was at the bar 15 minutes. The bartender just bounced around me like he didn't know who the fuck I was. He probably did it, but bounced around me took everybody else's drink and I'm sitting there and I'm like well damn it took it's a long time for me to get a drink but I'm noticing everybody in front of me is people who walked up to me like walked up after I've been sitting here at the damn I'm at the register ready to say can you have your drink money in hand and all nothing nobody knew the fuck I was nobody get the drink so after I'm like well damn it took you long enough and I'm thinking he knew who I was they know who clue I was. After I get my wine with my straw napkin, I'm like, well, the next time I'm here to perform, no, I said, I will see you. I said, I'll see you tomorrow night. And he was like, okay, and? I was like, oh, I'm Jasmine. He was like, Jasmine? I was like, yeah, Jasmine Masters. He was like, oh, my goodness, look at you. You're so cute as a boy. I didn't know. Well, you know what, bitch? I don't know why you did what you did and why you treated me the way you did, but you shouldn't have did that to anybody. Now, I know you seen me sitting up here for a long time. Because I came up here when nobody was here. But you probably thought I wasn't going to tip your ass. I didn't even want to tip. I paid full price for the drink. Because he never even said, oh, well, let me comp your drink or let me uh, get an employee discount. What am I employee. talking about? Because we both out. Hi, I'm back. <sighs> I'm sorry, I cut that off. But that is called Jasmine Masters. Nasty ass bathrooms. I don't know what I was saying on that. Yeah, I just pulled my car out the driveway into the um and parked it on the street. <clears throat> who was with me? When? Who was with me when? In the video? I don't even know what I was talking about. Who was with me when, Jill? Hey, Jill. Girl, I'm off today. Until tonight. <clears throat> so I'm going to get this started. Now, AJ. Somebody talk. Oh, that was my neighbor. That's not the real Katia, J. I had to pull out. And um, they have my neighbor out because I didn't pull in. Um, I didn't pull into my spot last night. Baby, I was well the fuck out. Do you hear me? I have been in makeup since 10 o'clock. Well, since 11 o'clock. <clears throat> and that shit was crazy. Yeah, y'all nosy. But it don't matter. 
I tell you what I want you to know. And if you get too nosy, I say none of your damn business. You know I can tell you that. That's none of your business. So now you good there. Yeah. You ain't asked nothing over the over the none of your business yet. And you know I love that. That's not none of your business. Really? <laughs> because that's the most truthful thing you can tell a person is that's not your business. <laughs> And when I tell you that is a that is a permanent slap on their face, because if it's not their business, and you tell them to their face, that's none of your business. <laughs> I have gotten so many people together like that, and they had to take for somebody else. To tell me, like, bitch, do you really understand how that just really, just, you know, that's not your business. But, you know, sometimes you just have to tell a person. <laughs> and they be looking like, they just be like, what in the hell? And then they, for real, they be shocked that you had told them, like, oh. Uh, hold on, I'm going through boxing people real quick. <clears throat> hey, how you doing? Hi, you never say hello. Hello, I'm sorry. I'm going up now to start a podcast. I'm going to. No, my neighbors is just some older uh, women, honey. Some older black women that don't play. They're my security guard. I just, um... I had just deleted, like, three people. Oh, okay. I've been trying to find the rest of them. I'm going to find them. You know what, honestly? If they gave us, like, one chance to slap a lot of people... They say this is the one time you're gonna see these people and you can slap them. Baby. I don't want nothing but water. Because I wanna make sure the energy I need. That water, because of the sweat, because the first one is going to be so wicked. That second one, bitch, you might as well going to start shit. But you know, I did catch a troll in Chicago. And it caught me off my guard. And I was like, it clicked in, but then I was like, okay, now nah, let me. And then I kept my eye on him. And I watched everything he did. I was like, uh-huh. I'm going to be back in Chicago. I'm going to be right at that club. And as soon as that bitch walked up to me and say, can you take a picture? And say, one by yourself. 
I'm gonna snatch that ass up. And I'm I'm gonna get that ass in order. Oh boy, don't play no motherfucking games with me. Cause you want them trolls. So let me tell you how this gonna go. And I'm talking to you man the motherfucking man at this point. And I'm in full motherfucking makeup. Do you want to see Jasmine or do you want to see Martell? Because in a minute, it's going to be a problem. Because you're doing that fake shit in my face. And you probably one of the people that threatened me before, so I don't know how to take it. Just I've been threatened before. And it's public, it's, it's out there in the public. Everybody know I'm in threat. Death threats, all that. So you doing this stuff like to me, it triggers me. So I could snatch that Adam's apple so you can't come play with, you can't play with people like that. I be trying to warn them. But I wash that ass. And I'm thinking, why this bitch ask for a picture by myself? I said, okay. So I'm waiting. Because when he said it, I knew to do some awkward, not awkward, awkward, you know, I knew to do some certain poses because I could remember exactly where I took them pictures at, what I had on, what day.